Hi, so in the uh, battery making video, I was asked to show how those tabs were welded and I'm, I'm going to do that with this. So here's a welded tab and we're going to weld that tab. Now this isn't a battery. Remember the battery making video was kind of a what you can do with lead acid to rejuvenate it with known stuff. This is the real stuff we work on obviously and what I'm holding here actually is a supercapacitor. Now it's made exactly the same way as the battery, that is we use this conductive plastic and this um, carbon foam felt here to make up the plates by spit of stainless steel, conductive plastic either side, build up the carbon plates by putting the felt on either side and then layer them up just like we did in the battery with the only exception being that both plates are carbon instead of one being reclaimed uh, lead oxide. So this actually only weighs 160 grams and there's a huge amount of energy on this. Now I'm about to test this so I'll be able to know what energy is on it, but I'm kind of expecting round about 20 watt hours a kilo from this. So a lot of energy goes onto here and there are six plates and this is made so that it can fit into that. And that's the real work that we do obviously. Uh, and that's where we are with it. But I thought I'd show you how to weld those tabs because I was asked to do it. Now we use this thing, which is, believe it or not, a tap welder. It's a Chinese bit of equipment, so it's not that expensive. Uh, and basically it's a dual station, it solders and welds, and here's a uh, welding point, here's a mobile welding point, set the power, set the frequency, little foot pedal, press the foot pedal, it's that simple. What I do actually is once it's all together like that and gathered, then we need to make sure that all these tabs touch and are in line, and I put a little bit of on tape around there just to hold everything in line. So a little bit of on tape around those protection HDPE lugs that we put. We'll just keep that everything together, make it quite nice and neat. Makes it all a lot easier to do. So a bit of Kapton on there holds that together. There we go. And it's as simple as popping it on something like a stone um, because it will burn through. You pop it on paper, it'll burn. You pop it on your desk, it'll burn your, dis uh, your desk. It's a little bit of stone, it's non-conductive. Set the power, hold the little probes in place, and press the foot pedal. And that's it. And that's all you have to do to weld them together. If you don't have a welder, I did mention that you could punch a hole and use a bolt. But that's ready to go in there. We just pop that in there, add the electrolyte, and that's the supercapacitor ready to go. And I'll be doing that next and doing lots of tests on that. So remember, the supercapacitor is made just the same way as the battery. That is, we use this plastic around some stainless steel to make these plates, this carbon felt, and you pop them either side and build yourself up some layers to what you want. And both of these things are on sale in the shop if you want to give this a go. I'll put a link in the description. And thank you very much for watching.